The FDIC seized yet another bank adding to the growing list of financial institutions facing unprecedented challenges. Major players like Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Chase Bank and US Bank encountered issues processing AC deposits, leaving thousands waiting for their paychecks. As the ripple effects of this banking turmoil unfold, it prompts a crucial question. Is this just the beginning? Today, we delve into the overlooked factors contributing to the banking crisis, revealing a storm that few are discussing. The current banking crisis gripping the United States States is an unfolding saga that's far more intricate than headlines can weigh. Behind the scenes, a cascading series of events has placed financial institutions in dire straits. The recent seizure of Citizens Bank in Sark City, Lova, serves as a stark warning. This closure stemmed from an examination, revealing substantial loan losses, uncovering the bank's insolvency. However, this isn't an isolated incident, it's symptomatic of a systemic issue affecting nearly all major banks across the nation. As of March 23rd, banks were grappling with an alarming $1.7 trillion in losses, a staggering leap from $620 billion reported just months earlier in 2022. This exponential increase hints at rapidly deteriorating financial landscape. And while these numbers already sound alarming, experts anticipate the actual losses to far surpass two trillion dollars, showcasing the accelerated pace of this crisis. What's particularly concerning is the vulnerability of regional banks which typically found most small businesses. These institutions are precariously positioned, holding a significant portion of the $3 trillion in commercial real estate loans. This sector has been deeply affected, evidenced by soaring office vacancies and monumental losses faced even by industry giants like Blackstone. The confluence of declining consumer deposits, rising inflation and consumer credit was further exacerbates the situation. Auto loan defaults and credit card delinquencies are on the rise, hitting at the looming financial turmoil faced by individuals. As government-backed sport measures expire, the strain on borrowers and banks alike is intensifying. The magnitude of losses haunting the US banking sector is a cause of a grave concern, far surpassing initial estimations. At the close of 2022, banks were grappling with significant losses amounting to $620 billion. However, within a few months, this figure skyrocketed to an astonishing $1.7 trillion dollars by March 23rd, showcasing an alarming acceleration in financial distress. This exponential increase is nothing short of alarming, hinting at a crisis spiraling out of control. What's even more unsettling is the likelihood that the actual losses might have breached the $2 trillion mark since the March report. The pace at which these figures are ballooning paints a dire picture of the banking sector's health. The repercussions of these colossal losses are far-reaching, impacting not just individual banks but the entire financial ecosystem. They reflect systemic issues that have quietly seeped through the cracks, affecting major financial institutions nationwide. What initially seemed like contained problems have snowballed into a widespread crisis leaving no corner of the bank sector untouched. The commercial real estate sector, often considered a pillar of stability, is currently experiencing a monumental upheaval, exacerbating challenges faced by the US banking industry. Regional banks, pivotal in funding small businesses and commercial real estate endeavors, find themselves ensnared in a precarious situation. With a staggering $3 trillion of commercial real estate loans resting on US bank balance sheets, predominantly held by less robust regional banks and credit unions, the sector is on the brink of an unprecedented crisis. The market is witnessing a distressing surge in office vacancies, with occupancy rates plummeting to unprecedented lows, hovering around the 20% mark nationwide. This dire scenario isn't confined to small-scale players, even behemoth Mods like Blackstone, the largest real estate owner globally, are grappling with substantial setbacks. Instances like Blackstone's sale of a building in San Francisco at a jaw-dropping $82 million, significantly lower than its 
to $45 million per sales price merely five years ago, exemplify the widespread decline in property values. This trend is not isolated. It's a prevailing narrative across various commercial real estate assets, echoing massive losses for lending institutions. The implications are dire as the banks face the imminent brunt of these losses. They hold loans against properties whose values have dramatically plummeted, putting the banks at risk of colossal financial hits. As office spaces remain vacant and property values spiral downward, it's a looming disaster that could significantly strain the financial health of these institutions, particularly the smaller, less capitalized regional banks. The commercial real estate crunch isn't just a sector specific issue, it's a ticking time bomb within the broader banking crisis, amplifying the challenges faced by financial institutions. The fallout from these losses could potentially reverberate throughout the entire banking landscape, warranting urgent attention and proactive measures to avert a more profound financial catastrophe. The current turmoil in the banking sector is intrinsically linked to the mounting challenges faced by consumers across the United States. Amidst rising inflation and economic uncertainty, individuals find themselves navigating a landscape fraught with financial difficulties, amplifying the strain on banks. One of the critical issues lies in the declining deposits at FDIC insured banks, witnessing a substantial drop of almost $1 billion in the quarter ended June 30th. This decline, predominantly fueled by uninsured deposits exceeding the FDIC's $50,000 limit, signifies reduced liquidity for banks to fuel lending and economic growth. Consumers grappling with economic fallout face an uphill battle to secure loans. The tightening credit market and stringent lending criteria have made it increasingly challenging for individuals, particularly those with lower credit scores, to qualify for loans. This conundrum further restricts consumer spending, hindering economic recovery. Auto loan defaults have soared to record highs, indicating the financial strain on households. The expiration of government support measures initially introduced to buy households and businesses during the pandemic adds to the mounting pressure on consumers. This withdrawal of crucial aid amplifies the financial vulnerability of households, potentially leading to a surge in loan defaults and financial hardships. The specter of inflation and looming recession looms large over the US economy, adding further complexity to the ongoing banking crisis. Despite robust earnings reported by American banks in the sector quarter, underlying concerns persist primarily driven by inflationary pressures and the threat of an economic downturn. The Federal Reserve has grappled with the daunting task reigning in rising inflation rates, aiming to achieve a target of near 2%. However, the reality diverges significantly from this goal. Inflationary pressures persist, fueled by various factors including energy price spikes and the introduction of new regulations. These elements contribute to an inflationary spiral that shows no signs of abating. The impact of these inflationary trends extends beyond the immediate economic landscapes. As prices continue to rise, consumers face heightened financial strain, diminishing their purchasing power and eroding the value of their savings. Additionally, the rising cost of living exerts undue pressure on businesses, leading to increased operational expenses and reduced profit margins. Moreover, recession concerns loom large on the horizon. Despite the facade of strong bank earnings, the underlying vulnerabilities within the banking system point towards a potentially tumultuous future. The end of various government-backed initiatives, initially instrumental in supporting households and businesses during the pandemic, threatens to unleash a wave of loan defaults, particularly among vulnerable sectors. The tightening of interest rates by the Federal Reserve further compounds these concerns. While higher interest rates have supported lending activity and net interest margins for banks, they also heighten the burden on borrowers, potentially catalyzing a surge in defaults. This delicate balancing act of bolstering economic activity while taming inflation risks tipping the scales towards a recessionary environment. The resurgence of the student loan crisis amid the broader financial turmoil poses yet another significant threat to both consumers and the banking sector. On October 1st, 43.5 million Americans resumed making student loan payments, marking a pivotal moment that could catalyze a wave of defaults and financial distress. A staggering number of individuals, many of whom were granted temporary relief during the pandemic, are now faced with the daunting task of repaying their student loans. This sudden financial burden hits at a time when the majority of Americans lack sufficient emergency funds, with two out of three individuals unable to cover a full $100 expense. The repercussions of this impending 
funding crisis reverberate throughout the financial ecosystem. As borrowers grapple with mounting debt, the risk of defaults skyrockets, placing immense strain on financial institutions. Banks burdened by non-performing loans face the prospect of significant losses, further intensifying the ongoing banking crisis. The sheer magnitude of the student loan burden raises concerns about its impact on credit scores and the overall financial stability. A substantial portion of borrowers may struggle to make timely payments, leading to damaged credit profiles and heightened financial distress. Amidst this scenario, the prospect of widespread loan defaults in the student loan segment adds another layer of complexity to an already fragile financial landscape. The potential fallout from these defaults could significantly exacerbate the challenges faced by banks, intensifying the ongoing banking crisis. Addressing the student loan crisis necessitates a comprehensive approach that considers relief measures, that considers relief measures, financial education and potential restructuring initiatives to alleviate the burden on borrowers. Moreover, proactive measures are essential to mitigate the adverse impact on the banking sector, ensuring its resilience amidst these challenging times. In conclusion, the storm is far from over. As uncertainties mount in the US economy, the next few quarters may prove even more challenging. The question remains, is this the last bank failure, or are we merely witnessing the tip of the iceberg? Share your thoughts below and engage in a conversation about unfolding financial crisis. In these turbulent times, Securing your financial well-being is more crucial than ever. Let's navigate the storm together. Don't forget to hit the like button to spread awareness and subscribe for more insights into the hidden facets of the financial landscape.